When you download League Director, you'll have to try both of the versions provided to see which one works for you. I'm using the older version, because the latest one stopped working for me suddenly. Go ahead and download the program and install. When you launch the leak director, you will see this. Make sure this box is checked, otherwise your leak director won't connect to your repo. When your replay starts, you will notice 5 tabs showing up in your leak director. The rendering tab, the visibility tab, the recording tab, timeline tab, and the keybinding tab. I will briefly talk about all of these tabs. The key binding tab gives you the possibility to hotkey any action in Leak Director. You can use the same hotkey for multiple tasks or multiple hotkeys for the same task. The visibility tab is where you can control what you render. You have multiple opportunities as of what you can show or hide in the replay. You can show and hide the fog of war and deselect the outline of champions both when hovered and when selected. The UI is very detailed and gives you the complete control over what you choose to show and what to hide. You can show or hide the name and health bar of a champion, or the health bars of the turrets, inhibitors, wards, add announcement and particle. The rendering tab is where you will spend most of your time creating the best environment depending on how you want your video to be and what kind of vibe you want to have. The camera movement speed is by default 500 units, this makes the camera a bit slow. You can make it move faster by increasing the camera speed value or make it slower by decreasing the value. To navigate the rift, you need to make sure you have selected the FPS camera and you can move by using the following key in your keypad. 8 for moving forward, 5 for moving backward, 4 to rotate to the left, 6 to rotate to the right. The field of view is how wide or how narrow your camera lens is, depending on the value added you can make it narrow or wide like this. The near and far clips show how much you render. This also depends on the unit value you input. As you can see, the champions are not standing firmly on the ground, but rather floating above it. If you input a negative value, I like to use minus 5. You'll notice that the champions are not floating anymore. The skybox is where you customize how the sky looks in your replay. Some of you will probably have the sky black to begin with. That is normal. You just have to choose the skybox image from the drop down menu. Or if you are more of an artistic person and own a photo editing program, you can make your own skybox image. With the tabs below, you can customize further to fit your requirements. Depth fuck and height fuck are very similar. Depth fuck is linked to your camera, meaning whenever you move it, the fuck also moves. You can customize the fuck in the tabs below. You can change the intensity, the color, where it starts and where it ends.
The Hide Fog is attached to the ground, giving a misty tint. It also affects the champion, and no matter where you move the camera, it will always be attached to the ground. The Timeline tab is where you make your sequences. You have here at the top the speed controller where you can choose how fast the clip is or how you slow. You have the timeline where you can skip forward or move backwards by either dragging the marker with your mouse or using the preset values. In the keyframe box, you can zoom in by holding control and scrolling in. You can make keyframes by clicking the plus sign next to the option or by using a hotkey if you created any. After you create a sequence, you can click on play sequence to replay the sequence you made. You want to go back to the replay, create more or edit the same keyframe, you need to deselect the apply sequence option in the upper left corner. Otherwise you will not be able to move the camera. Lastly, you have the recording tab. Here you export your sequences. You can record the whole game, or you can record only the created sequences. You have the export options, WebM file and PNG. You can select the FPS as well. Unfortunately, as per this video release, neither DaVinci or Premiere Pro supports WebM files without plugins. There is a third party plugin for Premiere Pro that you can download and install. You can export PNG and this will create a folder in the selected output location with multiple PNG files. The number of these files depends on the FPS choice, the length of the sequence you are exporting. Once this is done, you can just add these pictures in either DaVinci or Premiere Pro to make your video. I personally prefer not to use either of those two options and use a third party recording tool instead. In the next video I will show you how to make a sequence and how to export it using either of these two options in both Adobe Premiere Pro and DaVinci. If you liked the video, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.